as I've already mentioned in the previous video, I uh, will be learning a little bit in good way what is intersecting sets and disjoint sets. This is the two types of the sets we need to learn, uh, and it is, it is very important uh, to represent in Venn diagram. We should know that concept. So, uh, sets while representing in the Venn diagram may be two types. Maybe one one may be disjoint sets, all right? Disjoint sets, and another may be intersecting sets. So, what is disjoint sets? So in Venn diagram, if you are drawing Venn diagram and if the sets are completely independent, all right, this is set A, this is set B, this is set C, and none of the elements of A is found in the B, and similarly none of the elements of B is found in C. Or you can say the elements of A is just found in A, elements of B is just found in B, elements of C is just found in C. In that case, we can say this is disjoint sets. Nothing is matching between them. Like suppose we have set A, that is 1 and 2. We have set B, that is say 10 and 11. All right. Uh, we have set C, suppose uh, uh, 4 and 5 and 6, 4, 5, 6. And we have the universal set U, suppose uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, till uh, 15, suppose. All right. This is our universal set. So, so in that time, now see here, A is carrying 1 and 2, which is not in B. Similarly, C is carrying 4, 5, 6, which is not in A and B. You know? Similarly, B is 10 and 11, which is not found in A and C. So, all the subsets of U should be independent and none of the elements should be matching in the subset of uh, U. All right? so, so, that time we say these are disjoint sets. Um, in sets maybe 2 or 3 or um, any, any number, we, we don't care. All right? So, suppose this information F I'm going to put in the Venn diagram. So, this will be something like this. As you know already, that first we need to draw the rectangle to represent the Venn diagram, and this U is representing the rectangle, uh, which is including all the elements of the universal set. All right, this rectangle U. All right. Uh, now A. All right. This is subset A. Another subset B. Now see, I did not match. I did not share any section between A and B because there is none of the elements common between these two. Nothing is common between A and B. That's why it represented separately. And now I'm going to draw C. Oh sorry, I cannot go outside. C. Now C also I make independently. It's not going to attach with B or A because C's elements, elements of the C is not found in A and not found in B. That is why. Alright, that's why we say this is disjoint sets. And I will just fill off all the words, uh, uh, sorry, all the elements of the A, B and C and then finally U. So what is found in A and B? In A there is 1 and there is 2. And in B we have 10 and we have 11. And in C we have 4, we have 5 and we have 6. That's it. And now rest of this, whatever is there, we'll write uh, in the U sec uh, in the section U. So in universal set, uh, which is from 1 to 15, we got already 1, we got already 2, we don't have 3. So let me write 3, 4, 5, 6, and then write 7, and then 8, and then 9. We have here 10, we have here 11, 12, 13. And then 14 and then 15. This is the way how to represent a disjoint set in the in, in the Venn diagram, right? And it, there may be just 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 maybe there may be just two elements, uh, two two sets which are independent, all right? None of the elements of this set is in this set. Uh, that time we say this is uh, disjoint sets, all right? These are disjoint disjoint sets. Now let's talk about what is intersecting sets. Intersecting from the name itself, you are uh, getting intersecting. Something is getting intersect intersecting. Something is common between the sets. All right, like uh, like we have a Venn diagram, something like this. Always you will get something common. Suppose we have set this is A, and we have set B. We have two sets, and between these two sets, if some portion is common, some portion is common means the some portion uh, some elements of some members of A, and members uh, some members of a is the members of b also or you can say there is some common members members which are found in a also and which are found in b also all right such things uh, such uh, such type of set uh, not the thing such type of set is called uh, intersecting sets uh, let me take an example suppose a uh, we have uh, 4 5 and 6 and let me say b is uh, 2 uh, 4 6 and 9 all right and we have universal set suppose u we have uh, 0 1 2 3 4 
five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, and then ten. All right, this is our universal set. So how we'll represent this into the Venn diagram? Uh, I'm, I'm representing here this into the Venn diagram. So before uh, I have already before I have already said what is Venn diagram and how to represent. So I'm, I'm making here rectangle. All right, and this is you representing the universal set. So as I said, something is common here. Check it up. In A and B, you know, in these two set subsets of A U, something is common. That is four. Four is found here also. Four is found here also. Six is found here also. Six is found here also. All right. So we have to make set. Uh, we have to make the uh, diagram something like this. All right. So first, I will make here A. All right. And some elements of A is shared in B also. Is found in B also. So we are going to make some common uh, this this some common parts all right here here we'll be writing the common elements which is found in a also and which is found in b okay so first whenever you're going to write a vein diagrams means elements whenever you're going to put into the vein diagram after drawing the structure start from the intersecting points always keep this mind in uh, keep this point in the mind this is a kind of method or rule you can say that makes you easier so first what is common here first uh, first four and the next common is six all right so we fi finish the common part and once you finish the common part now you can write the subsets left elements of that subset in subset a what is left now four five six were there four and five already is here now left is five so I'll put here five all right and now this is B and in B, 4 and 6 is already included, 2 and 4 is left here. So this is 2 and this is 4. Okay, and now whatever elements are left, just write in the U sec section of, uh, in, the, in, the, in this outer region of this A and B. So uh, we don't have 0 in this common. And then 1, 2 is here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All right. If you don't give the uh, points also, that's okay. Now, like uh, uh, while writing in fast, fast we forget to write the points. It's okay. It can be considered, all right. Uh, but don't forget to write properly that uh, elements. This is this is what I was saying about the intersect inter, inter intersecting sets. So here A and B, I would say this is an intersecting set, right? Intersecting sets. If there are three sets, then it may be like something if there are three sets and three sets have the common thing so that time we'll be making figure like this all right this is the common intersection suppose one element is found in a also this is a also and b also and c also that time if some elements is found in a b and c in all subset that time will that time will be starting from this section and we'll fill first this and then we'll write those elements only found in a and b we'll fill up here uh, what is yeah we'll fill this person and those elements which are found in a and c only will be putting here and those elements which are found in b and c only will be putting here and those which are just in a will be writing here just in b here and just in c will be writing here and then rest of this into the section of this u all right this is the way how we represent the uh, intersecting sets later we're going to learn a lot a lot a lot of practice we're going to do so there you'll feel easy and how I'm doing uh, try to get the concept and if there is any questions to ask or maybe some confusion in my explanation then please feel free to comment just below this video or you can message me uh, you can like us in Facebook Twitter or whatever alright and don't forget to subscribe the channel catch you in the next video goodbye